Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kenneth, and we are here finally with the uh, the Rogue Guide to Cube World. And well, I know it's been months and months and months and months and months and months and months since I said I was going to do this guide, and I don't know what happened. It was school, and then it was work, and then I just didn't have time. But now I do have time, so I'm finally going to give you the Rogue Guide that you guys have been waiting for for months. And I'm going to start off here by showing you uh, the dual daggers. Oh, sorry, I should probably show you the weapons. The weapons are the Rogue can use dual daggers. These little daggers here I got. They can use fist weapons uh, in concentration with uh, daggers as well. So I don't know what kind of, uh, I think I might get a poison attack as well. Yeah. With the dual daggers you get a poison attack. With the fists, let me put on my fist here. Go away, go away, go away. I dropped the freaking dagger. So go away. Look at the dagger. There we go. <laughs> I haven't played Cube World in a long time. With dual fists you go really fucking fast. It only does a little bit of damage. And your magic attack gives you a roundhouse kick which acts as a stun and a knockback for some enemies, depending on your level and depending on the weapon level. As well as, you also get these long swords, I believe they're called, right? Yeah, well, that's a little bit of a glitch. Uh, you get the long sword, iron long sword. I uh, put some modifications on for me because I like it. And this is my favorite weapon to use because it's just, it's powerful, it hits hard, and its magic attack is a multiple attack. It does three quick stabs, it knocks them down as well. So I've used this on several boss fights with this character. If you were watching the live stream I did uh, two days ago, then you'll notice that uh, this is the attack I use a lot, along with the uh, the first attack here I'm going to show you. Now your basic three, your basic two attacks rather, are you've got, so let me go into the ability here. You've got Intercept, which allows you to lunge forward, hit three times. It's just like your magic attack with Longsword. It knocks them down, right? So that's a good way of knocking them down and getting them the hell out of your way. The second ability is Stealth. Now, I've never been a big fan of using the Stealth as a rogue because it doesn't seem to work very well, but what it does is it allows you to... Let me just get behind this guy. Or near him, at least. I gotta get my Stealth back up. It doesn't last too long, but the more points put into it, the longer it lasts. It allows you to do more damage. But it's just, I don't find a use for it ever. I never really use it. I'm not a rogue player. And uh, your third ability here for the, I think this is a ninja setup. Yeah, ninja. Uh, you get the ninja stars, which I found to be amazing. And this is uh, this in combination with the lunge attack? What the hell was it called? The intercept. Uh, make for quick getaways if you need to. So the dummy's there. Bah, 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 bah. Three attacks, I'm really far away. I use the lunge attack, or intercept gets me even farther away. So it's a good way to get the hell out of a situation you don't want to be into. I use it to run away all the time. I just found out of the Ninja Star City because I just switched over to the Ninja like five minutes ago to try it. And it's one of my new favorite abilities. I'd rather stay Ninja than go to the other one, but that's kind of awesome. And I'm gonna switch over here to the Assassin. And uh, this ability, I don't, I don't get it any more than the Stealth ability. It stealths you, but it recharges your mana really fast. And allows you to do, you know, it just gives you more damage, more abilities. If I don't find it very useful in fights by myself, but as a team, it might be useful if you're trying to get behind a boss or, uh, you know, do some kind of high damage to someone. Because it'll recharge your mana really quickly. And I believe, hold on a second, I want to try something here. Where's my, let's put on a dagger. Because what was the ability? It was a lunge. I think the lunge might actually, yeah, okay. So when you use the intercept, it gives you whatever your second ability is. So uh, my second ability here I'll add, adds that poison damage. I'm going to switch over to my fists again. So what this should do is if I use the intercept ability, I should do a roundhouse kick. Yeah. Okay, so intercept, intercept gets you within range and then allows you to do your special ability without costing any mana. Or I think it does cost mana. I don't know. We'll find out. Hold on a second. I'm going to beat the hell out of this guy. Okay. Now I have. Gonna wait for zero mana. Zero mana. Bam! Okay, yeah, so it instantly charges your mana, and then it instantly spends it. So it does do your second ability at no cost to you. As well, I'm gonna show you the armor. I haven't done this for anyone else before, but uh, the armor for your character, you use cotton armor, which you use uh, cotton yarn, which you get out of cotton capsules, which you find out in the wild. And that's about it for the rogue. I don't know what else to show you. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. It was only about five minutes long. Uh, I know it's been a long ass time. I know I haven't really done a video like this in a long time, but hopefully, uh, if I get permission from Jack from Rooster Teeth, I will be putting out a UFO park guide 
in the very new future for GTA 5. So thank you for watching. I shall see you guys later. Have a good day and goodbye.